Hello, welcome back to Let's Play Jane's Fighters Anthology as we continue to go through the reference materials. Today we will be going over The Atlantic 2, titled The Salt Atlantic 2. Type Twin Turboprop Maritime Patrol Aircraft, former designation Atlantic Novella Generation or ANG. Program Design definition began July of 1977. Development began September of 1978. First flight, Atlantic 1, converted to ATL 2 prototype 8th of May 1981. First flight, second converted prototype 26th of March 1982. Production authorized 24th of May 1984. First flight production aircraft 19th of October 1988. 23rd flotilla declared operational with three Atlantic 1s February of 1991. Design features, aerodynamically conventional mid-wing twin turboprop aircraft with double bubble fuselage, retractable radome, weapons bay and ejectable store stowage in lower fuselage section, avionics pods at tip of wings and fin, underwing store stations for anti-ship or self-defense missiles. Wing section, NASA 64 series, incidents 3 degrees dihedral, 6 degrees outboard of engines, sweep back 9 degrees on being edge. I wonder if they meant NACA 64, because I think NACA is normally the designation they use for, like, wing sections, isn't it? Landing gear. Retractable tricycle type by Messier Bugatti with twin wheels on each unit. Hydraulic retraction, nose wheels rearward, main units forward, and engine nacelles. Hebert Columbus tires, size 39 by 1320 on May wheels. Pressure 12 bars or 170 pounds per square inch. 26 by 7.75-13 on nose wheels, pressure 6.5 bars, or 94 pounds per square inch. Messier Bugatti disc brakes and motor stop anti-skid units. Power plant, two 4,549 kilowatt or 6,100 horsepower Rolls-Royce Tyne RTY-20 Mark 21 turbo props, each driving a four-blade Batier British Aerospace Constant Speed Metal Propeller Type PD 249-476-3M prototypes. Four pressure refueled integral field tanks and wings with total capacity of 23,120 liters or 6,108 US gallons or 5,085 imperial gallons. Updated gauging system, oil capacity 100 liters or 26.4 US gallons or 22 imperial gallons. Avionics, comms, HF comm by LMT, UHF AM FM by Sintra, IFF transponder. Radar, Thompson CSF Iguane, retractable radar immediately forward to weapons bay. Flight, Tacken and DME by Thompson CSF, VHF AM FM comm by Sawcret, VOR ILS by EAS, TRT radio altimeter, Collins MF radio compass, ADF HSI and autopilot flight director by SE. Or sorry, SFENA, dual SAGEM, ULIS 53 inertial navigation systems coupled to a Navstar GPS. Mission SAT slash TRT Tangle FLIR sensor interred under nose. Radar has integrated LMT IFF interrogator and secret decoder. Sextant avionic um, magnetic anomaly detection and length and tail sting. Thompson CSF RR 13A radar detector for ESM, Thompson CSF C Dang system for processing active and passive acoustic detection data. Equipment More than 100 sonal buoys with Alkin pneumatic launcher in compartment aft the weapons bay, where hole of upper and lower fuselage provides storage for sonal buoys and 160 smoke markers and flares. Thompson TRT 35 cameras in starboard side of nose and in bottom of rear fuselage. Armament. Main weapons bay in unpressurized lower fuselage can accommodate all NATO standard bombs, eight depth charges, up to eight Mark 46 homing torpedoes, seven French Marine advanced torpedoes, or two air-to-surface missiles. Typical load comprises three torpedoes and one AM-39 Exocet or AS-37 Martel missile. Four underwing attachments for external stores, including two or four ARMIAT or Magic missiles, or future air-to-surface and air-to-air -air missiles or pods. Dimensions external wingspan including wingtip pods 37.42 meters or 122 feet 9 and a quarter inches, excluding wingtip pods 37.3 meters or 122 feet 4 and a half inches. Wing aspect ratio 11.56 length overall, excuse me, 33.63 meters or 110 feet 4 inches. Height overall 10.89 meters or 35 feet 8 and 3 quarter inches. 
Area's wings grows were in 20.34 meters squared or 1,295.3 square feet. Aeron's total 5.26 meters squared or 56.62 square feet. Flaps total 26.42 meters squared or 284.38 square feet. Weights and loadings, weight empty, equipped, standard mission, 25,700 kilograms or 56,659 pounds. Max weapon load internal, 2,500 kilograms or 5,511 pounds. External, 3,500 kilograms or 7,716 pounds. Max fuel, 18,500 kilograms or 40,785 pounds. Standard mission takeoff weight, ASW or ASSW mission, 44,200 kilograms or 97,440 pounds. Performance at takeoff weight of 45,000 kilograms or 99,200 pounds, except for indicated. Max Mach number 0.73. Max level speed at optimum height 350 knots or 648 kilometers per hour or 402 miles per hour. At sea level 320 knots or 592 kilometers per hour or 368 miles per hour. Stalling speed flaps down 90 knots or 167 kilometers per hour or 104 miles per hour. Max rate of climb at sea level, AUW of 30,000 kilograms or 66,140 pounds, 384 meters or 2,900 feet per minute. Service ceiling, 9,145 meters or 30,000 feet. Length, 33.63 meters. Height, 10.89 meters. Wingspan, 37.42 meters. Max takeoff weight, 46,200 kilograms. Max wing load. 385 kilograms per meter squared, max level speed in knots, 320 service ceiling, 9,145 meters, max rate of climb, 884 meters per minute. Here we can see two pictures have been provided. This one looks like it's, I don't know, because of the grayscale, but either this is a rocky area or maybe these are some icebergs and they're flying up north. And then here's one, looks like it could be taking off or landing. And here you can see the pronounced magnetic anomaly detector stinger in the aft. And here we can see the 3D view. Uh, they don't really show the uh, deployable radar here. Like you can, I think that's supposed to be the deployable radar there uh, that they mentioned in the text. And you can just barely make out the FLIR turret there. Yeah, and here it would be retracted, I assume. Those aren't modeled here, but otherwise the rest of it seems to be pretty decently modeled, including the wingtip pods. So that will be the end of today's video. So I hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you all for watching and stay tuned for next time and stay safe out there and we'll see you then.